students today we are going to see uh, the definition of primitive polynomial the i found that students uh, find it very difficult to understand and to recall the definitions of primitive element primitive polynomial and minimal polynomial these uh, definitions are required in cyclic codes as well as bch codes so let us see today uh, the definition of primitive polynomial the definition of primitive element was already covered on this channel you can check that also so what is the definition so primitive polynomial px over gfq that is galois field q is a prime polynomial that means first condition is it should be a prime polynomial over gfq over gfq this is also important with the property that in extension field constructed modulo px the field element represented by x is a primitive element so <laughs> no nothing is understandable from this definition because uh, the chapter as well as the things are very new to the third year students so in my way i try to explain all these terms with example because when i was teaching to my students so after only reading this um, definition they don't understand anything so i decided that i will create one example and let them understand the same way i am telling you here so let us take example x cube plus x plus 1 is selected as primitive polynomial over so here over gf2 it should be gf2 galois field 2 so <clears throat> so what is galois field uh, that video uh, also i am going to upload but uh, right now only um, uh, keep in mind that galois field 2 uh, means there are only two elements 0 and 1 and all other uh, numbers are not there there are only 0 and 1 number is there so let us take x cube plus x plus 1 as a primitive polynomial so first step is primitive polynomial px so we have taken x cube plus x plus 1 so let us see what is next statement o over gfq so we have taken it over gf2 is a prime polynomial so let us see whether this x cube plus x plus 1 is a prime polynomial so what is prime polynomial then so prime polynomial is a monic irreducible polynomial of degree at least 1 is called prime polynomial now uh, a monic you don't know irreducible you don't know now why why we uh, the why the third year engineering students don't know these terms because we don't study fields rings in the mathematics in that much detail that's why we are very new to all these terms that's why the primitive polynomial and all the bch terms are hard to understand so whatever the important is there we are not going to go deep in fields and rings we are just um, going to know the important points which are required to understand this definition so a monic irreducible polynomial so prime polynomial is monic monic means this is a polynomial suppose x cube plus x plus 1 highest degree here is 3 so what is the coefficient of highest degree so this coefficient here is 1 so so if coefficient of uh, coefficient of highest degree term is 1 then that uh, polynomial is a monic polynomial so in this x cube plus x plus 1 highest degree is x cube its coefficient is 1 so it is monic next then it should be irreducible that means irreducible means over gf2 it should not have any root it should not have any root uh, so uh, for gf2 the elements are 0 and 1 so let us put p0 that means x equal to 0 so when you put x equal to 0 the the value should you should get at get it as 0 uh, to have the reducible form but here if you put it as 0 so 0 always keep in mind over gf2 plus means nothing but xor 
XOR operation. But we are not always writing XOR, we are writing plus only. But for GF2 plus means XOR. XOR you know that 1 1 is equal to 0, 0 0 is equal to 0, 0 XOR 1 is equal to 1 and 1 XOR 0 is equal to 1. So here 0 X cube is 0, 0, 1. So 0 XOR 0 XOR 1 is nothing but 0 x or 0 is 0, 0 x or 1 is 1. So, P0 is equal to 1. So, 0 is not the root of this polynomial. Then, uh, remaining number is 1. Let us see whether 1 becomes the root of this polynomial. So, 1 x or 1 x or 1. So, 1 x or 1 is 0, 0 x or 1 is 1. So, here again uh, P1 is equal to 1 that means 1 is not a root of x cube plus x plus 1. So, what we have concluded that in GF2 there are only two numbers that is 0 and 1 but both the numbers will not make this polynomial equal to 0 that means both these numbers are not roots of that polynomial. Okay, So, that uh, the over GF2 this polynomial is irreducible. So, this x cube plus x plus 1 is prime polynomial. So, first condition is, uh, sorry, yes, correct, prime polynomial. So, first condition is satisfied. That is primitive polynomial Px over GFQ. That means here GF2 is a prime polynomial. Yes, our x cube plus x plus 1 is a prime polynomial because its leading coefficient is 1 and in over gf2 there are two elements 0 and 1 but those are not the roots of this x cube plus x plus 1 okay so the first criteria is fulfilled after that over gfq with the property that in extension field constructed modulo px the field element represented by x is a primitive element so let us see the next part so, for the next part, we are going to construct GF8 from GF2. Our extension field is GF8. So, what is extension field? We are constructing uh, the elements of this field with the uh, over, over GF2. Or we can say uh, GF8 is nothing but GF2 raised to 3. It is the extension field of GF2. So, we have to construct gf8 elements with that primitive polynomial which is over gf2 we have to take the use of primitive polynomial to construct the elements of gf8 now gf8 means it has seven elements that is zero seven numbers that is zero one two three four five six seven now we have already seen that all these elements can be represented in terms of powers of primitive element so primitive element is alpha uh, so that video is already covered please check that video so all these elements can be represented as 0 is represented as 0 1 as alpha raised to 0 2 as alpha raised to 1 3 as alpha square 4 as alpha q 4, 5 as alpha raised to 4 6 alpha raised to 5 7 alpha raised to 6 now these uh, numbers we are represented in terms of powers of alpha so, this is one representation of these numbers or the, the elements of GF8. Now, we are going to represent these numbers in terms of modulo primitive power, modulo Px. That means we are going to, we have, uh, first step we have done, we have selected a primitive polynomial. Now, we are going to take use of that primitive polynomial to construct the elements of GF8. So, these are the, um, these are the, nothing but the element representation in terms of modulo primitive polynomial. Let us see how these uh, are obtained. 0 is nothing but 0 because here 0, uh, now how to obtain it? 0 you have to divide it by alpha q plus alpha plus 1. 0 division is 0 and remainder is 0. This remainder here you have to write. Next alpha raised to 0 is 1 alpha raised to 0 is 1. So, again you have to divide it by alpha q plus alpha plus 1. Now, here I have made changes that instead of x q plus x plus 1, I have made it as alpha q plus alpha plus 1 and then I am obtaining the elements of gf8 because the afterwards I will uh, explain that uh, thing also. So, uh, 0 again um, uh, division is of 0. So, answer is 1. And this minus is not there because in XOR operation there is no minus term. Over GF8 there is no minus term. 0 plus 0 is equal 0 XOR 0 is equal to 0 and 1 XOR 0 is equal to 1. Then alpha Q 
plus alpha plus 1. Next element is alpha. So again divide it by alpha cube plus alpha plus 1. Division is of 0. Then here 0 is there. Then answer is alpha. Reminder is alpha. This alpha is written here. Again alpha square. Alpha cube plus alpha plus 1. Uh, division is of uh, 0 again. Then 0 and as a, uh, remainder is alpha square. That means mod. All mod. Alpha square is there. Mod means what? That uh, primitive, uh, uh, as we say in GF2, there are only two terms, 0 and 1. For 3, we are taking it as 0. That means we are operating on mod 2. For 4, we are taking it as 1 again. Same way, mod, uh, mod over primitive polynomial. So, up till now, alpha square, we got alpha square. Next term is alpha cube. So, alpha cube is alpha cube plus alpha plus 1. So, the division will be of 1 because here alpha cube is there. So, 1 into alpha cube plus alpha plus 1. Next, alpha cube plus plus means XOR. Again, I am saying plus means XOR. Alpha cube plus alpha cube 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. 1 XOR 1 is equal to 0 or same term is equal uh, same term xor is equal to 0 then remaining is alpha plus 1 so what is remainder alpha plus 1 so here we have written it as alpha plus 1 after that alpha q plus alpha plus 1 again and next term is alpha raised to 4 so alpha raised to 4 division uh, here division is of alpha how i am i am getting this uh, it this as we uh, you know now division algorithm alpha raised to 4 divided by alpha q that is equal to alpha so alpha is the division so alpha raised to 4 alpha raised to 4 plus alpha square plus alpha so uh, the uh, remainder is equal to alpha square plus alpha alpha square plus alpha so likewise uh, you can obtain all the more uh, elements in terms of mod of alpha cube plus alpha plus 1 so these are the elements so in the definition we are saying that uh, with the property that in an extension field constructed modulo Px, the field element represented by x is a primitive element. To construct these elements, we have to replace x by alpha. That's why this statement is there. So, I hope you understood this definition. Thank you.